For a law enforcement agency, nothing is more painful than losing a, one of their own in the line of duty. In Missouri, a nonprofit is formed to make sure those departments have one less thing to worry about during difficult times by taking care of funeral arrangements. Color 10's Carissa Codell spoke to members of the Missouri Law Enforcement Funeral Assistance Team. Yeah, the team formed in 2009. Since then, they've planned 35 funerals, including one earlier this month for Osage Beach Police Officer Felicia Carson. I think it exponentially helps with taking the burden off of the home agency because they have a lot of things going on. Um, things that they're not even thinking about. The Missouri Law Enforcement Funeral Assistance Team originated in the St. Louis area after two officers were killed. Since then, the team has expanded across the state. Our team is a resource for uh, the agency and the family that has uh, experienced that loss. They do have to wait to be invited by the agency before they take over. When we do get invited in, uh, we can take a lot of that burden off of the agency and the family of coordinating uh, planning the detailed, very minute details of, of funeral and implementing the honors uh, to make sure that that hero is honored with the uh, honor, dignity and respect that they deserve. The team organized the funeral for Springfield Police Officer Christopher Walsh, who died during an active shooter situation at a gas station, as well as Greene County Deputy Aaron Roberts, whose patrol car was swept away in floodwaters. It's important so that the other agencies get to grieve because it's it's hard to do, it's hard to work the funeral and grieve at the same time. The team is a nonprofit that runs off of donations and volunteers, making their services completely free to families. Sergeant Josh Steele with the Springfield Police Department has been on the team for four years. Funerals are hard, especially when they're an officer. So uh, this is uh, very important and it's worth doing. There's a golf tournament this Friday in the Kansas City area that will benefit the team. If you'd like to donate or volunteer, you can find links in this story on our website, OzarksFirst.com. Steve. All right, Chris Cadell reporting tonight. This 